Hey everyone, thank you for signing up for Storito.com. I will be showing you the app now and how you can use it and how you can automate your Instagram story posting with it. So before we start, the first step, of course, is we need to connect our Instagram account. So you can say connect your Instagram account. Then Storito will automatically check your location. So mine is Germany Cologne and then I can click continue. And in the next step, you need to enter your username and your password. So I will do this with my test account here. I simply copy my username, go back in the app, copy it in here, and then I will enter my password. It might take a few seconds here, so let's just wait. As you can see, now my account has been connected, so I can save this Instagram connection. And in the next step, we need to verify that this has been us, so that the connection to Instagram will be stable. Uh, you can just follow the steps here. You open up your Instagram on your phone, then open up settings, then go to security here, login activities, and then you can say, this was me. And then in this app, you can simply say, I followed these steps. And as you can see, our first Instagram account is now connected. Uh, you can add more than one Instagram account here. You can find all these under this tab, Instagram accounts, and you can connect a new Instagram account by simply clicking on here and connect your second one. The next step is now to upload some creatives, like the photos and videos we want to post on Instagram. So therefore, we go on gallery. And here you can simply click on upload. Or what I like to do better is you can simply drag and drop your videos and photos. So drop it like it's hot. And now it's uploading the video to my gallery. Now for this tutorial, I have been uploading a video and a photo. In the later tutorial, I will also show you how to do everything with a video. But for now, let's go with the picture here. So I click on it and Storito gives me now three options. I can either go right ahead and post it or schedule it, or I can first edit the story. So I can add hashtags, user tags, polls and locations. And it also can create a video out of this picture. So you can add text and motion graphics. But this is a little bit more advanced and I will later on show you a video about it. But for now, let's keep to the normal process and we want to go into the editor here. Yes, and, the, and this editor, which is pretty cool about Storito, we now have the chance to add everything what we usually have on our smartphone. So we can add hashtags, we can add links, locations, we can mention people, other accounts, questions, polls, quizzes. So you know all these features from your Instagram on mobile. But let me tell you for like an automation tool on your desktop PC, this is quite unique. Most other tools just allow you some stickers and maybe a text, but here you can pretty much use every Instagram feature. You can also add text here. You can add other images and it's pretty cool. It's also directly connected to unsplash.com, which is a free stock photo site. So you can simply enter a keyword and then it will automatically give you the picture and you can add this to your story. And of course shapes and here are also GIFs and emojis. Uh, yeah, you can simply always type in the keyword and it gives you the right GIF. For example, this guy here, we can place them at the bottom. And let's go back to stickers for now. Add a hashtag here, breakfast, and you can add different colors. For example, go with this one here, add it, and it puts it here. And then I can make it smaller or bigger. I can move it around, simply drag and drop. and can also tilt it, put it upside down if I want. So. <laughs> And the next thing is we can also add a location. So if this is, for example, our restaurant, we can add a location or we can use these sliders here, for example. And here you can see you can use it as you would be on Instagram. You can uh, type in your question, for example, hungry, and then you can search for like the correct emoji. I will put in a croissant here and then I add the slider, make it a little bit smaller. And now I can also play the story. So the GIF is animated and it's moving. Yeah, stop it for now. And now I've created the story as I would do this on my uh, smartphone. You can see it here, you can edit everything and I will save this for now. So the video needs to be processed here because we put some stickers and GIFs on it. It takes up to like 10 seconds. Now the story is ready and it's saved under gallery here. So I click on it and now we wanna post it. And this is also very unique now. We can post this directly from our desktop PC, from the application, from Storito. And we can, of course, also schedule it. I click on it. 
And here you can select your Instagram account. As said, you can add multiple accounts. Like we have customers up to 20 accounts and they manage all this within Storito. And the pretty new cool feature, we can also directly post the story on Facebook. So if your Instagram account is connected to your Facebook account, then the application will automatically notice that and will also post the story on your Facebook story. And you can add swipe up links, of course, if you have above uh, 10,000 followers. Yes, and now the magic, you can either post it now or you can schedule it. Here, click on schedule and then it gives you a calendar. And I, for example, could say I want to post this on Monday, let's say at 11.10, for example. But for the tutorial and for demonstration reasons, of course, I want to post it now. So I click post now, takes a few seconds. And now you can see a green check mark. This means the uh, story has been posted to my Instagram account and to my Facebook account at 4 p at like almost 5 p.m. here. So I go back to my Instagram account. I refresh. And now you can already see the circle here. So I can click on it. And here you go. Here's my breakfast story. The GIF is working. The slider is working on mobile. And the hashtag also has been edited. Yeah, this is pretty cool and pretty satisfying because now you can go ahead and manage your whole Instagram account ahead of time and you can also create your stories in within the editor of Storito so you don't have to uh, do this manually on your phone. And I think it's pretty cool. A lot of social media marketers are already using it and it just makes your life a lot easier because you can... Uh, plan all your stories on Mondays for the entire week, schedule them, and we do the posting for you. Let's have a quick look here on the left. You can also do bulk scheduling. I will do a video about that. You have a calendar here where you see all your stories. You can add additional team members, for example. And of course, as said, you can add more than one Instagram account. Um, just click around here. You will find it very easy to use. Yeah, Storito comes at a price, of course, since it's a professional tool. For now, you see I have 38 uh, posts left, story posts left, and you can, of course, upgrade it. The standard plan, you get 100 uh, posts per month. With a professional plan, you get 500, and you can also have an enterprise account where you have probably more than one Instagram account, and uh, yeah, you can post up to 2,000 stories. You can also do this yearly and save some money here, of course. And you can always just double the amount you need. For example, if you need 1,000 Instagram stories, you can just click plus here or you can later on also buy packages. Simply click on it on buy now and then you can upgrade and it will always show you the amount of stories you have left in the top right corner here. Yeah, I hope you liked the video. There will be more tutorials from me coming, of course. So you will learn everything about the tool and how you can use it at best uh, so that your Instagram accounts will grow. Let me know what you think. Uh, I hope you like it and start using it. So see you in the next video. Bye.